to be able to go to a place mentally where regardless of what he's doing, we know and expect that he's going to show up. We know and expect that he's going to rectify things. We know and expect that he is the man that we want now, regardless of whatever his actions or inaction is showing us. And when we know in the midst of good evidence or bad evidence or no evidence that this man wants us, that he adores us, and that he'd honestly be stupid to not do something about it. And when we see ourselves with a little bit of pedestal action, that like, of course, he's going to do this. Like, have you met me? Like, I'm amazing. I'm the best thing that's ever going to happen to this man. <laughs> like, when we look at him as if, like, obviously he's going to do this for me. Obviously, this is going to be how this works out. Um, and we start to see him as someone who is empowered, who can do that, who is that man now, who is going to be taking those actions. That's when, you know, what's offered externally begins to drastically change. And I literally had this conversation with the girl before you that the people that get the results in like a minute, an hour, a day, like those are the people that completely and totally disassociate and disconnect from reality. And they're just like, I don't care what this man did yesterday, today, tomorrow, the next day. I am choosing this new belief system. I'm choosing this new way of seeing him where if before I saw him as disempowered, someone who didn't show up, someone who wasn't consistent, someone who didn't choose me fully, I'm just marrying the opposite side. I'm marrying the opposite side because I get to choose how I see him in my mind. Like at least in my mind, I'm going to make that a positive thing even if what's external is not positive. And I'm just going to continue to sing that tune day in and day out. And because a belief system is really just a thought processes or a self-talk we keep on saying or telling ourselves, the more we do it and we don't give two hoots, we don't give two shits, pardon my French, of what's happening externally, we will believe it exponentially. And we'll believe it so fast because we've disassociated from reality where what will happen is one fine day you'll just wake up and you'll be like, yeah, I do see him as someone who is this mo uh, is this way. And there's not a damn thing that can be shown to me in the 3D to convince me otherwise. I don't give a shit what he's doing in the 3D. <laughs> Once again, part of my friends, like, I don't care because it's like I know who he is in the 4D. And when we're able to, you know, in the midst of good, and in the midst of bad, I, I, I've literally been having this same lecture with so many people today. So it's ironic that I was like, I want you to start to see any event that happens as good uh, as uh, there's always two ways to interpret it. One is good and one is bad. And, you know, someone could see, I don't know, I'm just going to give an example of someone like canceling on them as like, that's bad. But it's really just feedback of what we need to double down on. I can get canceled on and still know that I'm an amazing, wonderful catch, that this man is going to correct this and rectify it, and that he's currently going to shift things around and fix it and make me his top priority because that's who I am and I matter that much to him. And that's a choice. That's a choice I have to consciously make. Likewise, I can also be canceled on and see this man as someone who is disempowered, whose actions and words don't align, who isn't able to show up and give me the type of treatment that I want. And due to those reasons, I can't believe that he can be any different. And each one is going to produce a radically different outcome in our 3D reality. One is going to move you more and more towards the reality that you want. And another one is going to move you towards disempowerment. And so really every subject, every event, everything that's happening is really two subjects. It's empowered or disempowered. And we have to choose the side that we want to benefit from, quote unquote, in our, in our 3D reality, regardless of what's happening external. Does that make sense? I know I kind of took over the call a little bit there for a second, but I hope that that makes like a lot of sense. This is just one of the rampages that I went on on one of my most recent coaching calls with someone who has the up-level four-call package with me. Um, and I just think it's a beautiful representation of what we go through in coaching. 
This woman hadn't had movement in two years on her own trying to problem solve her situation and find the solution to her problem. And in just one call, she has had a sea of movement with a ton of men. And it just goes to show that sometimes the, the proof is in the pudding and the keys are in the small little teeny tiny little details. And to have someone who is an expert to point things out uh, to you and give you a concrete, structured, tailored, customized plan of what do you need to do daily to make your result happen. It's wild because it's like she was blocked for two years in the sense of movement, but then within one call, all this sea of movement just floods in through the door. It goes to show that education, application, discipline, and a personalized touch are truly the keys to success when it comes to this situation. Because otherwise, my results just wouldn't make sense. This is the reason for why I encourage people that if you can, get into some type of coaching at some level. Because at the end of the day, these are the types of crazy shifts that happen. I educate my clients. I'm able to point out within five minutes where they're moving in the wrong direction and why they're blocked and why they're so stuck. And I'm able to provide them a concrete, tangible plan and routine, as well as Kim and Sam do the exact same thing in their coaching. And you're able to, you know, afford them at a very smaller price bracket to mine. And all they literally did was just, they did what we said. They did what we said. They applied what we said down to the letter, down to the T, and they did it religiously. They married that 10-page plan <laughs> as if it was their new Bible, and they knew it inside out, upside down, and on these calls, we provide the support, we provide the clarity, we answer the questions, and we continue to mold and shape and refine so that on each subsequent call, the results come back 10 times more. 10 times more, 10 times more. It goes to show that the education is one element and that is huge. This woman had a lot of misunderstanding. She was doing a lot of the things that I gave her to do in my plan, but she wasn't doing them correctly. And this is what made all of the difference. Doing something but not doing it correctly doesn't work. The second element to her key to success is she needed to have the smallest changes to produce 90% more movement than what she was currently producing or not producing on her own. And that came through the customized element. Due to the fact that I've looked at thousands and thousands and thousands, as well as Kim and Sam have looked to thousands and thousands and thousands of individuals, we can understand your situation in one call and instantly point out what you need to do to get the type of love that you want fast. It is a skill set that we have after having successfully facilitated so many thousands and thousands of results. And that was a huge key to her success as well. The third thing was her application. If this plan would have just sat and she would have put it into the corner and say, you know what, screw this, screw Persis, screw, screw this situation, I'm not going to do it. Jesus himself could have like, you know, risen today and it still wouldn't have worked because at the end of the day, our knowledge and our plan is useless if you don't want to actually do the work. Do not come to us if you're not interested in working because you have to do the work. We cannot go into your mind and do the work for you. It is impossible. But our coaching is a luxury service because it is almost a done for you. We sit down with you, we hear your problems, we hear your issues, and we problem solve your situation, provide you a concrete plan, give you the education. Like we do as much as we can humanly do. We do as much as we can humanly do. There's nothing else in our coaching that we could even offer above and beyond what we're offering because we're already doing the most amount of work. Your only job from then and there on out is to just apply and be disciplined, to listen and take instructions and do. And when you do that, you'd be surprised the whirlwind of movement that happens. And what a lot of these women are experiencing in personal coaching is no matter how he's acting right now or what he's saying, when you feel differently, he'll behave differently. 
when you work with us, we are the experts at showing you exactly why you aren't attracting the type of love you want and what to do to shift the quality, care, and commitment and treatment fast.